Good morning, class. Okay, so now we're going to start our literacy. Yesterday I introduced two new spelling words, me and go. Today we're going to practice some um, sentence formations with adding a period. We're going to dive into what I showed you yesterday with the s has a number two above it. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead, get those whiteboards out. I would like you to go ahead, write those two words that I introduced to you yesterday. I'm going to give you a minute. Sound them out as you write them. M E G O All right. Here we go. Here's mine. Ma E, I underlined it. G O, I underlined it. Do you guys remember why we underlined those two? That's right. If it's an A, E, I, O, or U, they are open, closed, and it makes its own sound. So, ma, e makes its own sound. So, we're going to underline it. Ga, o, it makes its own sound. So, we underline it. Okay. Go ahead and erase those two off of your board. Now, class, if I say cats run, <coughs> say it with me, cats run run okay let's write that sentence cats run okay cats run all right what was the first word that you heard Cats. That's right, guys. Let's sound it out. Cats. Good job. What if I say, what's the second word that you heard? Run. Good job. Sound that one out with me. R -a -n. Good job. So we have that, and that makes a sentence. So here, we add our little dot like that. Okay, it's close to our little in as we could. So now we have our complete sentence. We have our capital C, K, A, T, S, R, A, N, period. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to review <clears throat> those spelling words that we did. Okay. So go ahead. Me. Go. Now, our new ones with that are going to be can. K -a -n. Let's sound that out. K -a -n. Does that need any underlining? K -a -n. Nope, it is a closed syllable, so we don't have to add any underlines. All right, our next one is, is, I'm going to give you guys a minute to think about it. All right, it should look like this. Now, our S makes the what sound? That's right, S, Z. So it makes two sounds. So right above our S, we're going to want to add a two to show that it makes two different letter sounds. S and Z is. All right. Your guys' third one is an. An. Now that is another closed, see? And it's not an A, E, I, or U. <coughs> and I want you guys to write all of these down on a piece of paper using your baselines. Make sure you're following that along. And practice these spelling words. Another thing is our silent E. We've talked about that in class, okay? So an example, if I wrote S, am, pull. 
you can't hear that E on the end, right? So I would write it like this, because it's our informal spelling, okay? So I put my little dots in between. Like if I was to do app pull, I would separate it. A pull. Let me, there we go. App pull. Okay. Now, when you look at this E on the end of these, we would underline it twice. Okay. We also put a little tiny, oh, I can't write like that. Give me a minute. Tiny four. Okay. All right. So it should like this. It's what it should look like. Okay. All right. That is to show it is the silent E. All right. That is it for your literacy. We will add some more spelling words tomorrow. I want you guys to go ahead, pull out your paper, and start writing those words for me.